Hi, and welcome to another edition of Learning Should Be Fun. I'm David Naylor, and today we're going to talk about the most important document in your life. It's called your resume. It will affect the jobs that you actually are offered. It will affect the income that you receive. It will affect your ability to purchase a home, a car, and live the American dream. I want you to stay tuned and use the resume template that I've made available to you to go ahead and modify the process. Work smart, not hard, and ultimately produce a perfect resume. This will bring you closer to your ultimate goal of getting that good paying job so you can live the American dream. I'm David Naylor of Get Ready Productions, and this is Steps in Success. The first thing we should talk about is downloading the resume template correctly. After you click on the link to download this document, a window similar to the one on the screen should appear. You should left click on the Save As option on the left side menu to open a Save As window. Make sure you take some time to view many of the options in this Save As window. First, make sure you know where you are saving this file. Next, check the file name that you will save this file with. Finally, place a check in the box to maintain compatibility. If you do not select the Maintain Compatibility option, the template's formatting will be affected. After you open the resume template, this is the image you should see on your screen. I will instruct you on how to edit every section of this document. And if you need assistance, don't hesitate to email me or join my discussion group. This resume template and video makes the process of creating the perfect resume a lot easier. At the top of this document, you are going to place the mouse pointer or I beam on a line and left click. Do not press the backspace or delete key after selecting a line. Type your personal information on each line. Feel free to pause the video and switch to your resume at any time to do work on your resume. I formatted your resume template with font size 18 for your name and font size 12 for your address, phone number, and email address. It is my opinion that you need not include your street address on your resume. I believe that information is on a need-to-know basis. Ultimately, it's your decision what you type on your resume. If you have a mobile device, use that phone number on your resume so you have the ability to respond to a prospective employer on the spot. In addition, include your home number as a backup. Use a professional email address. Avoid using a cute, funny, or risky email address because you will send the wrong message to a prospective employer. I'm David Naylor of Get Ready Productions, and this is Resume Writing 101. The summary section of your resume is very important because it will lead the reader to the next section of your resume. You don't want an employer to stop reading your resume because your summary is poorly written. Your summary should be three to five sentences long. Do not start each sentence with the same word. Display your writing skills to impress the reader. Your summary is the opening statement explaining why you should be considered for an interview for employment opportunities. Highlight the paragraph under the summary heading. Type directly over the selected area without pressing backspace or the delete key so you do not change the alignment of the paragraph. I have written and proofread hundreds of summaries. Employers are looking for key words and phrases when considering applicants. The first sentence of the summary in this lesson draws attention to my time management skills. In the second sentence, I reference my focus on being organized. My last sentence, I reinforce my confidence in getting the job done. The paragraph alignment is justify, which means it's even on the left and the right sides of the page. The education section of this template has four cells for you to click on and type your information directly into. 
Place your mouse pointer in the middle of the name of school cell and type in the school you are attending or have graduated from. I don't think it's wise to include schools you did not graduate from. Next click and type in the town and state of your school, but don't include the zip code and don't use state abbreviations. When typing in your degree and major, make sure you use the information on your diploma or in your college handbook. Include your grade point average if it is three or better. It is important to achieve a competitive grade point average. Next, type in your graduation date or expected graduation date. Only type the month and year without a comma. Use the name of the month, not the number representing the month. Consider including bullets in your education section for achievements you want an employer to know about. Scholarships, awards, and internships are a few examples of accomplishments you should make an employer aware of. The soft skills section is where you begin to separate yourself from the competition. The soft skills I use in this lesson are eye-catching and enticing. The titles I created address an employer's checklist of skills they're looking for in an employee. In the first bullet, I use the word solution to exude confidence in my ability to get the job done right. I use the parenthesis to further explain what a solution provider is. My second bullet reveals my understanding of the value of time and my knowledge about applications and technology. Businesses live or die based on the bottom line. Expressing my understanding of budgets in the third bullet lets an employer know I add value to the company. Being organized is vital to working smart and increasing productivity. And that's what the fourth bullet addresses. Computer skills are necessary if you are to compete for the better paying jobs. So list the computer skills that you can use in an interview. It is a plus if you can type using the home row. Finally, know your value to an employer if you speak more than one language. Each individual is different. Ultimately, know your strengths and you must be comfortable with performing the skills on your resume in an interview. The way you write your experience section on your resume is a skill that takes time and patience to develop. This section has four cells that will automatically format, align, and select the font I have chosen for your resume. You know the drill. Simply click on a cell and type in your personal information for your employment history. Start with your current employer and list other employers in reverse order. Your position title is important to employers and must be accurate and verifiable. This cell is preset for an italic font to draw attention to your job title. Use only the month and year for the dates of employment, not the day of the month. Use the name of the month, not the number representing a month. If you are currently working for an employer, use the word present in the date. When explaining your job responsibilities, use corporate power words. Words like responsible for, in charge of, monitor, manage, train, promote are some examples of power words. Do not use the same power word for more than one bullet. If you are looking for a word that means the same as a power word you've used, right click on the word. A menu will appear with an option for synonyms. You must know the difference between present tense and past tense. For companies you no longer work for, use past tense. Words like was responsible for, insured, managed are just a few of the examples that you can use for power words in the past tense. Achievement section is optional. This section should list awards, scholarships, acknowledgements, etc. If you need more space for other sections, consider integrating your achievements into those other sections. When you use achievements as a separate section, it will attract more attention to specific sections and that's what you want your resume to do is all about attitude. We believe it's steps in success that if you believe, you will achieve. Of course, it's going to take hard work, dedication, and commitment. But if you use steps in success, 
I think you will see a marketable difference in your achievements in life.